Yeah, it's part two to that shit. This part two to my last video. You know, somebody had called me and it just cut the video off. You know how it is. But yeah, I'm like, shit, where, where was I? Oh, yeah. First of all, I had to come from Atlanta. Then had to come to Bloomingdale, Georgia. Then got to go back to Atlanta. Then got to come back to this motherfucker. And it's like, I don't feel like that shit, bro. I mean, now I definitely can't make it. You know what I'm saying? Every time, every time I'm, I'm, they want me to do shit like that and I'm making good timing. Something always shut my ass up. You know what I'm saying? Something always happens. But anyway, shit, I'm like this close. Probably about, yeah, about this close to quitting anyway. <laughs> Literally, just to let this shit go. Because this, this job right here, here for the birds, you know what I'm saying? It just, I don't know. I mean, the job ain't too bad. The job ain't too bad. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, um, it is what it is, like any other truck driving job. I mean, to each his own. You know, I done came to the discovery that um, when I be just sitting here thinking, you know what I'm saying, all this driving and shit I be doing, I be like, I just think and I be like, I don't think I'm built for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as what I mean by that is, I, I what I mean by that is, these driving long distances and going multiple days and shit like that. This is like, I don't, like I said, I'm not built for this. Because I be missing my kids. I miss my old lady. You know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of times they get on my nerves, I miss my babies. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I am a family man, you know? So it's like, me gone so much, I be missing the hell out of them. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, it's like if I go overnight, that's fine. But if I'm going for like, for some reason, sometimes two days or whatever, and you know, cause like personally now I've been going since like Wednesday. Why? Because of they ass. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, first of all, when it was Tuesday, they sent me, I already figured, I already figured, I was like, oh man, I, something already told me that this ain't going to be good. Okay. How can I give you a short version? The short version is they sent me to um they sent me to Buford, Buford, Georgia. All right. I had first of all, this 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 run right here had four stops. They sent me to, to Buford, Georgia on um on one day. And then they wanted me to have a back or they wanted me to go to but they wanted me to go to Fairmont, Georgia and pick up the next day. And then take it to um, take it to Garden City, and then deliver on the next day or something like that. It was some shit, some fuck shit like that. And with all of that shit, that's why it took so goddamn long. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, no, that yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I think that's how I went. I think I had I, I had the delivery on Buford, then I had to go to Fairmont, Georgia, pick up, and then shut it down. Then when I shut it down, it's like I had to go to um. No, no, no. I got it all wrong. Matter, matter of fact, y'all bear with me. Bear with me. I had to deliver on Buford, Georgia one day. And then the next day, they wanted me to pick up from Fairmont, Georgia. And just come back to the yard. And then the next day, they wanted me to deliver at Garden City. And, and this one got me all fucked up. This one, they wanted me to deliver in Garden City. Port City now. Port City. They wanted me to deliver in Garden City. And then come back to the yard, get a trailer. And then take it back. I mean, take it to Atlanta and then come back all in one day. And what Garden City, anybody who fuck with Garden City know that Garden City is like, it's, we, I mean, we, we, we the port city. When you're in Garden City, Garden City ain't nothing but truck city. That's how, that's what I call it. Ain't nothing but truck city. It's trucks every fucking where. Everywhere. You can't throw a dime out your window without seeing it without, without it hitting the truck. And so that means the traffic is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I just knew that shit was going to be fucked up. So I got stuck out that day. And to make a long story short, I just kept getting stuck, 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 stuck. Since like what? Like Wednesday, I was stuck. So I ain't been home since like Tuesday night. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And the day Friday, you know what I'm saying? If I met that and, and they fixed my this damn trailer in a, a square amount of time, he want me to go take this shit to Atlanta 
and it come back and I'm going to get stuck again. You know what I'm saying? And I told him that I can't get stuck another day. He don't give a fuck. I tell you right there, them DM, they full of shit. They don't give a fuck. So therefore, it's like, I don't know. I'm just not built for this. I'm not built to be on the road. Some drivers, they love it. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a few drivers I know on this fleet, matter of fact, they love it. They love the long runs. They love that shit. That ain't me. I got small kids at the house. You feel me? If I ain't had no kids at the house, shit, I'd probably like it too. You know, to me, it's free travel. But, um, oh, man. No, I'm thinking, I'm serious. I got I got something local lined up. Yeah, I'm about to go in. I might just go ahead and fuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to holler at you. This is just a part two of the last one. Waiting on roadside. Like, share, subscribe. Comment, hit that bell, do what you do. Don't really matter. Just bored, so I made a video. Made a couple of videos. I'm going to holler at you.